Right up next is the Project Essential. Essential. Um, I've already been through this one, so I'm not going to go through the evaluation portion of this repair. Um, so what's going on with this one is really, really distorted left channel. And um, I'm not going to go through the troubleshooting steps. i got a little bit of oil there to clean up. Uh, basically, there is no continuity between right, the left um, or the white, right, the left positive, I guess, uh, speaker wire and the phono board. Now, this one has a built-in phono preamp, so you can see I've already been poking around on this. I did this before the holiday, but from where that white, or actually the end of the white, right here, right, the end of the white right there, to the end of the white on the phono board, and it's screwed in, but it comes in, um, you can measure it right there, there's no continuity. So something is broken between this point and this point. Now what I don't know, what I haven't looked at, it looks like these are tone arm wires that are one piece, go all the way from up here to the board. Um, it looks that way to me, I'm not sure. But if I pull on this, I can actually see the white. Oh, I thought I could see the white, but it's been a while since I've worked on this. Um, so I'm not sure. glue this or tape this down because this tone arm just flops around all over like I can um, take that right off of there and get it um, so here I don't think if I tug on this oh yeah it moves it so it's one piece so all right so what I'm gonna do is I have some replacement tone arm wires and I'm gonna run one and I'll just tack, I'll just desolder this end, tack it onto the new wire and uh, attach to the board and then see if, uh, see if that is the only problem with this. That's the only problem I've been able to identify so far. So I've gotta go inside, get my wire uh, and uh, I'll do that and I'll be back in just a second. So I bought tone arm wires off of eBay. Don't remember who the seller is, but uh, this is 36 uh, gauge. It's supposed to be super, super ultra flexible, ultra flex. So what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna run this and then I'll trim it. Oh yeah, that, that is pretty flexible. It's about a five foot, about a five foot section. I'm actually going to replace some tone arm wires on my uh, Pioneer PL41, which I um, shot a video on. Because, well, and when I get to that video, I'll explain. But I put some pretty thick tone arm wires on it, and they don't play real well with the um, tone arm. Basically, they're too stiff. But anyway. All right, so I'm going to pop this off. Oh, goodness, can you just, can you just stay put? Help me out. Alright, 
All right, so I'm just gonna slide this. Well, I'm gonna see if I can do it this way. So you can see, thanks for falling off. Kind of see where the tone arm wires come out of the tone arm right there. Let's see if I can thread this through there. I know it's not gonna be this easy, so I don't even know why I'm trying. But... And what I could do is cut that other wire and tape it and kind of pull it through. Oh, it's going so far so good. I don't want to pull the old one out until I make sure this new one is going to do the trick. All right, so I just met some resistance down here. Not sure where. You know, I may. Maybe if I want to feed it up through here first. Do 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 do. Well, this is going to be pretty boring watching me fight with this, but I think you get the point of what I'm trying to do. I need to feed the tone arm wires through this, through that, solder it to the board, and see if that does the trick. So I'm not going to torture you with me trying to do that, and I'm trying to do it while not... bending the tone arm wire too much. Again, I could maybe tape it to the old one, but I really don't want to pull the old one out until I know this one solves the problem. It's just sticking on something. I think it's caught in the bundle of... Oh, there it goes. All right, it was just getting... I think it was getting caught in the bundle of wires. So the wires are fed through a little sleeve here. And I don't see anything yet. Hopefully it's not just <laughs> bundling up here, which it very well could be just bundling up here in the tone arm, like just pooling in the tone arm. Oh crap. All right, that's kind of like watching paint dry. I'm gonna save you the pain of watching this while I get this figured out. All right, so what I actually had to do was loosen this screw here and slide this, the tone arm, this tube out a little bit uh, because there was actually a plastic sleeve here and there's, there was almost no way to kind of get that wire to feed through there cleanly. Um, so that's what I did there. Um, you know, the one bad thing about working when it's this cold, and it's not super cold in the garage, but every cord is really stiff. So, let me burn that off. Sometimes you just burn the end off, but it looks like it's not going to cooperate. So, let me... That's the old clip right there. I might be able to just... All right, so there's the wire, and let me strip a little bit more of that off of there, just so I 
can improve the connection. Not working quite the way I wanted to. Uh, I'm gonna shut the camera off while I figure this out. I, I really just want to melt this off of here. So, and I, but I, you know I don't know what this sheathing material is made out of. I don't think it's silicone, but usually just kind of melts right off. Huh. It's kind of odd. Well, poop. Go back to just using a razor blade and taking some of it off. Alright, let's try this again. This time what I'm going to do is put a little bit of solder on this. Just enough to kind of Cover that hole, but open that back up like so. Run this through. I want to get it hot enough just to kind of tack it in position, then I'll hit it with some solder here. Well, you know I had a little piece from an earlier project. If I could have some more stuff in my way. Come on, fat fingers. I know it's cold, but... Do, 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 do. Man, that's... Alright, I'm gonna... Let me just pause this camera so you don't see me fumble through trying to solder this stupid thing. All right, well, I've been fighting with this for a little bit. I want to show you what's going on. They've basically secured the old tone arm wires with this snotty stuff here. And it was covering the other, the bottom part of the opening where I have to push the tone arm wire through. So I had to disassemble this whole damn thing. And now I've just got to feed the tone arm wire through this plastic sleeve. And then I'll put this, put the tone arm assembly back onto it. Man, what a pain in the butt. This has been like. <sighs> and I will tell you, this is, I'm not working on one of these again. I typically don't like to work on new stuff. Let me zoom back out. Just because, I mean, it's new. Like, call the manufacturer, but that's like, ah, uh, jeez. So there's the new toner wire. I'm just hoping none of these other wires have been broken. I've had to move everything around so much, and stuff has been dangling and not in the best position to be protected. All right, so I put a washer back, and I'm gonna put this. Oh, you damn thing! I should have taken today off. All right, 
right now. I want to get this on good enough to hold it in position. May have to get a little socket or something. Is my arm right in the way? Yep, sure is, isn't it? Yep, project. I'm never. I'm not going to work on one of these again. Especially if it's a channel out. Although now that I've done it once, I know what's going on. I just hope this fixes it. Again, not the not the optimal tool to use to tighten that screw. But it's what I got handy. Alright, that's tight enough. Now the other one. Pain in the rear. Okay, so there's that one. I know, hands in the way, sorry. There's just no good way to do this and film it. Again, things you don't think about when you're watching these videos, like you have to be a contortionist so you don't block the camera. Okay. So now, actually need to tape the tone arm down because even though I have it secured with that twist tie it just rests on this base here and it'll go flopping all over so I'm gonna tie it or tape it down like this so it doesn't come apart and now gosh I'm going to get my little, I'm going to set this on something and grab my turntable. My turntable, turntable. And I'm going to snip that wire about here. I want to give myself just a little bit of room. White goes right there. Now this was attached before, so so I don't want you to think, oh, you just had to attach it. No, that was attached before. When I flipped this board over the first time, I made sure it was there. that into the solder that's already there. Thing wants to spin on me. Well, the solder that's there doesn't want to cooperate. There, it got soft. All right, 
Now let's do this. And do a little extra dab. Make sure it stays. There we go. Okay, so now flip this back over. Into its position. I do have the one loose white wire, and that's coming from the old twin arm wire. And for some reason, this doesn't want to screw all the way down. It was like that before, and this did break off, so I have to put that back. Don't want to lose this. I'll need this for another project. Well, I'll do that later. What the hell? You don't want to watch that. Okay. So that goes like so, and then solder this ground wire. And this uh, turntable has its own, I think I, I mean obviously you can tell it's got its own phone preamp. When I first connected it to the stereo, I, I wasn't even paying attention. And I've worked on U-turn orbits. I've had a U-turn orbit, which is similar in construction. And uh, I, I connected it to phone, and it was like, it sounded like absolute garbage. It's like, what is going on? And then I popped this, <laughs> this cover off, and I'm like, oh, that's the problem. I not a problem, but that's why it didn't sound the way you thought it should sound, because it's got a its own preamp. And all this stuff is cold, so. Okay. So the way this mounts is, oops, like so. And I don't want this to get caught or anything. And three screws, back of screws are here. Not a big deal to take this apart if this, for some reason, doesn't resolve the situation. So I'm not real worried about it. Let's hope for the best. Let's assume that this fixes it. <laughs> I'm sure I just jinxed myself. And then one goes. Here to hold the jacks in position. So that's good. I'm going to run some tape on this little wire that goes between the power and that thing, assuming this fixes it. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to leave this other tone arm wire dangling there. And I've got four. Can see and the one I just added is about the same I have the same amount of slack in that as I do the other ones so now I'm just gonna put the new head shell on it which you don't need to see and connect it and test it and hopefully it'll work All right here we go uh, let's see On. Yeah. 
and I get sound out of both channels. Awesome. Well, I'm not going to lie, that was... Just mounting the head shell on that was a pain in the butt. Mounting that on there was a pain in the butt. Alright, so I should be able to just pull this old wire right out. Nope. Oh, I bet that's where it was broken. Snapped right off there at the head. Oh. Yeah, I don't I don't like how tight these wires are on this head shell. But I mean they're just asking to be broken off there. I just, very, I just want to double check, make sure something didn't change. Yeah, that's what I was. That's what I was afraid of. Now I have no right channel. God damn it! Shit. <sighs> Because the the head shell, the wires are so tight on the head shell. Like, gosh darn it. I gotta look at this piece of shit a little bit longer. I think I got it sorted out. So I was using these elbow cables. These are normally my auxiliary cables. And I think they were a little loose. I'm hoping that's the problem. So let's see. And the way they sit on the bench, they were just kind of in a bad, they were in a bad spot. So let's see if this gets all right so that seems to okay I seem to have sound on both channels now so that's good okay so that was running the tone arm <laughs> the new tone arm wire on the project essential um, yeah that was something else so anyway, uh, as always, if you like what you see, hit like, hit subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.